Here we will have a quick appetizer. Just uh, gonna short out this bit of wire on the 30 volt supply. Oh, that was too quick. It has just melted off at the terminal here, as you can see. I've got this set up at the moment, just a transformateur, straight on the mains. I want to reduce the fault level, I'll put a 250 VA ballast in series. Okay, I've reduced the fault level by uh, putting the reactor in series. Let's have a quick look what happens. A 30 ampere. It's getting warm, let's just burn out slowly. Not implemented as uh, ballast. Uh, let's see what happens now. Probably get a bit more current now. Not much more because the mod is not shorter than the secondary. Good smoke emitter, 40 ampere. Okay, and adjust device. 30 ampere, the heating element. Go soft. Nice. Ah, oh, pop. A bit too quick. It's burnt out. Uh, let's have a look at the failure happens. I think it's here on the side. Yes, yeah, here on the side of the coal there. A little bit of boom out here on the plank. And it turns the fuse together as well. Need to fill over. 0, 20, 40, 60. Energize device. There's a loop de loop. I'll see how she goes. Taking 40 ampere, a bit of softening happening. It's just a copper strand, and I will do the same experiments with no inductor, and you'll see the current will be a lot higher. The copper is discoloring to uh, black now. I will put the meter on a higher scale because I don't want to destroy my meter. I put it on the 150 scale. And now, and now we're going to do the same test again with the ballast removed. That was pretty quick. High fault level. And the wire went straight away. I'm just fiddling around a little bit, but um, the reason why we put uh, chokes or inductor coils in series with certain circuits, it's get, you, it gets done in substations on the bigger supplies on 11 and 33,000 volts just to reduce fault level and um, in a simple setup here I just got a uh, 30 volt transformer here at the back and I put a uh, microwave oven transformer put it with a shorted secondary as a ballast in series with the primary winding and I will show in a circuit how it's done and this is a bit of well copper strand I want to see what the current is on the circuit when we energize this and then we disc remove the ballast completely and uh, proven it before in my test so when current will go over to 150 amps so this meter is at the 150 scale 0, 50, 100 so I've got an inductor in series and I'm just curious what reading we're going to get and we're going to plug it in and we'll see what happens shortly Oh, there was a bit more current here because I had the secondary short. It was about 80 amps. De energized device. I got a few more spare wires for experimenting, so they're all the same length anyway, and they're going back in this uh, circuit. In this particular situation, I had the secondary of this coal shorted, which means the inductance will be lower. Next one, I'm going to put the same jumper in. So the current actually I checked on the camera was about. A, 100 amps, 110 amps. So we're going to open this up and I'll see how the inductance is now, how much it's going to reduce the actual uh, current flow into the circuit. Okay, install the new wire. Okay, 
okay as, as I said before that was uh, now we have an open second there on the microwave current should be less well, the current is only about 25 ampere so it's severely uh, reduced okay well de-energize and I'll short out the secondary stand by and that's the reason if you're using uh, microwave oven ballast uh, you can use them as an inductor there's no problem with that so you need to turn the power off of course I don't want to get a belt and I'll short this wire out here this on the core and now we're gonna run this in one go in the camera again and now the meter should go probably to about 100 ampere and we'll see what happens just stand by yeah 120 boom pop nice okay i've disconnected the ballast i'll remove it completely and now we've got the power straight supplied to the meat to the transformateur and straight to this same loop again um, I will put the meter on a higher scale because I don't want to burn my meter out. I'll put it on the 300 ampere scale. And this will probably go a lot quicker. The reaction here, stand by. About 150. Yeah, so this is this. Uh, no uh, series inductor, let's say. So, uh, de energized device. We do that again because I like it. I'm gonna quickly put another uh, jumper in here. Okay, next one, we'll do that again. Let's see the current again 150, 150, 160. That was pretty quick. An important thing is when you do these things, always put an indicator light in there. It's got a simple green light here. At least you know. You know, things on or off, on or off. It's quite important when you de energize or energize device. This is a pretty Mickey Mouse setup, but it works. We only used uh, about 40 watt hours there, and that's meter recorded 40 watt hours as well. These meters will feature in a different video at some stage. Hope my blurb makes sense. Uh, post in your comments if it didn't make sense, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching anyway. Rodalco 2007 New Zealand. The weather is pretty nice here. I'll just give you a view from my deck. Uh, sun is out, a couple of little clouds. We had a bit of rain overnight, but uh, yeah, it's overall pretty good. It's still uh, autumn here. And yeah, I'm gonna cut this video in the end. And I do apologize, all these extra commercials. I don't make the call for that, that seems to be happening by YouTube themselves. So and that's what I mean by protecting your uh, table. Burn marks here.